Hello everybody, Junior Shadow here, and welcome back to another Bleach Modded Survival episode with me, me, and only me, because it's just me today. It's me all on my own some, and I've got something special planned, because it, well, it's episode 10, so I thought, well, now might be a good time for one naming my sword, which I really need to do, which I've been asking people to put names down for. I've got quite a few good suggestions, actually, and I've got them all kind of noted down here, along with their meanings, so I can name my sword finally and release it. And the other thing I'm going to do is go kill the Ender Dragon. With my sword. I'm not going to use the bow because that would be kind of boring. I mean, anyone can go off and kill the Ender Dragon with a bow. Everyone does that in normal Minecraft. I'm a Shimigami. I've got a cool sword. I'm going to freaking use it and I'm going to destroy him. So, let's get started. So, for naming my sword, I've got quite a few different suggestions here. So, I'll just quickly name them off along with our meaning. So, we've got... Now, sorry if the pronunciation is wrong because, you know, it's me. I'm bad with pronunciation. Anyway, we've got Runaburodo. Something like that. It's basically Lunar Blade. Yami no O, which is King of Darkness. Yaka Hakari no Cage, a few people suggest I just name it my old sword's name. Yuri, which is Faint Soul. Cage no Kami, which is God of Shadows. And Tamashi no Yami no Kami, which is King of Shadow of Darkness. And yeah. So, quite a few good ideas there. Oh yeah, before anyone mentions. Anyone notice anything different about the place? I've been running around a little while, so I forgot. It was even different because I've been hopping around. Someone used freaking lucky blocks at my home. Are you serious, bruh? There's only three people it could have been, and one of them, no one's admitted to it, which is a damn shame. And everyone's changed their names now, so it's a lot harder to figure out who it was. But either way, someone used lucky blocks. I think they used two, maybe. I think one gave them TNT or something because they exposed. Shadowbeard's cave, that's right. I had a secret cave right here behind everyone's. I don't know if I actually showed it in an episode. I don't think I ever did. Basically, there's a secret button here. The end. I just hauled it out. I was planning to turn it into like some kind of secret base to hold cool shit. But no, it gets exposed. It was hidden behind the bookshelves. I had like secret blocks placed so all this I could see through while I was in here. It was marvellous. I know it's gone. At least the enchant table's still in one piece though. Although it's not full level 30 enchantments, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. This can be repaired by a pain in the backside, but it'll get repaired. It's a chest full of crap here. Anyway, there's all that. Anyway, for name of my sword, the idea I think I'm going to go with is Cage no Kami, which is God of Shadows, because I don't know, I quite like the ring of that one. It was either going to be that or Kari no Cage. I mean, the other ideas were good. Some of them were pretty kind of basic, which, you know, I guess that's what people are going for. I right, might wonder where I'm going. I need to go get levels so I can enchant my sword. I need to get like five levels, so I need four more. So I'm going to go to the nether, I'm going to go kill some stuff. Then we'll get working on the Ender Dragon and, well, everything else I need to do. Where's the fortress? I'm gonna kill some blazes. See, I've got another idea for going for the Ender Dragon fight. Rather than just relying on my mass and my sheer spirit energy, I'm gonna get some Minecraft items like potions and golden apple and stuff. Because I feel like I've got so much gold, and since I'm not gonna use lucky blocks right now, I'll probably be- Ow! Oh! Freak of freaking nature. That one's still there. He's always been there. He's been there since the first time I went to Nether. He's still there. I can't kill him. He's too strong. <laughs> All of his abilities stack up too much. You would need literally an army of freaking guys to take him on to kill him. Anyone on the server, if you want to have a go at killing him, please do so. Now, there's a blaze spawner here. But where are the blazes? Right, for anyone that doesn't know, for... I had a diamond sword before, which had like really good looting and unbreaking stuff. It's gone. Yeah. Now, what happened was I was fighting against a boss at the dropping ability. So my sword dropped it behind. He then struck lightning on it and destroyed it. I was gutted. I was absolutely gutted. Those blazes did quite a lot of damage to me there. Like, no, wait, I got struck by lightning as well. Wasn't all the blazes. That's fine. Oh, here we go, some action. And there we go. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, he got me. Blaze rods. I can't remember exactly how you make strength pots. I think it is... Something to do with blaze powder, is it not? I think. I don't know. Ah! There's quite a few of them this time. Ow. No, they're all, they're all like, all over the place. I need one more level. Right, come on dudes, come over here. Come over, come on. Oh, hello. Yes, there's one there. There we are. I get the XP. Yes, it did. Right, kill this one. I'll get out of here. Are you serious? Get down here! You son of a bitch! I 
for God's sake. Right, you know what? Scram out of here. Ow! You annoyances, you absolute annoyances. Flash dip. Flash dip. Flash dip. Flash dip. Flash dip. I'm flash dip and my buddy out of here. Flash dip. Flash dip. Flash dip. Oh god, I don't go over the edge. Flash. Flash. I think I've used too much energy. <laughs> I didn't realize Flash Tap it took so much. It only takes five, so I don't know how I ran it so quickly there. Oh well. I've got the levels. Let's do this. Oh yeah, for everyone just want to see, I've got like that much gold and a lot of mass, and I've got a lot of mass shards and a lot of everything. It's pretty awesome. I can't I think Oh yeah, I used to have a secret chest here as well. Like Oh, I filled in the water and the Sure, can. Anyway, there was a staircase here. One of the blocks had a secret chest in it where I was keeping all my stuff as, um, so no one would take it. That's been destroyed, so I'm betting all the stuff inside it's gone too, which is a damn shame. Now, I have potions sitting here. I can't remember if it's blaze powder you use for a strength pot, but we're about to find out. It does something anyway. I don't think it's... I don't know. I can't remember. I don't have the energy to actually jump up that. I need like at least 160 to do that. Um, let's quickly ditch some stuff. So as you see, I've already got some stuff ready. Now, the portal to the end actually already has all the end eyes in it. We've already done that. Me and Lizzie went and did that. So, I don't have to worry about that. All I need to worry about now is naming my sword, which I shall do just now. So, calling you Cage no Kami. Kedge no Kami, welcome aboard the team. So, I've got him now, now I just need to release him. It's a Lunar Style Blade as we all knew I was going for. You've watched me complete it, at least. So I've got that on my side. I'm not going to release him yet, I'm going to wait till we actually get in the Twilight. Not the Twilight, what am I talking about? There's no Twilight in this. Um, wait until we get into the end, and I'll do it. go from there. Is there any food in the oven? Yeah, there is. The fridge kind of got raided. Anyway. They are Strength Pots, beautiful. Now we need to increase their time. Or to increase their level, it's hard to say. Um, I know Glowstone does one and Redstone does the other, so I think we'll go for level. Oh, yeah, I might want some sugar as well, actually. Have I got any sugar? Um, maybe one of these chests. Where's the sugar again? Must be downstairs. God damn it, it's so hard to remember where everything is. Oh, yeah, Lizzie moved out. Lizzie's got her own house now. I've actually got a point in the map away over there. 2,000 blocks away is Lizzie's new house. She just moved out one day without warning. Oh well. She doesn't live anywhere as cool as a mountain, so it's fine. Now let's increase your level up a bit. I think I'll just keep it pot to drink. I don't really want to make a splash potion, because then I'll need... It will shorten down the time, which would be a pain. Okay, so another thing in Sherbeard's cave... Um, it's basically where I use my other account. I used to play around on the server using my other account. Oh uh, yeah, this account's only called Ginger Shower now. It's, I actually got to change it thanks to the Minecraft changing name, which is awesome. Anyway, I had a bunch of rates, so I had some bits of pieces. I had a golden apple that I got off a boss store in here, so I've already got one. Do we hand it? I had an invisibility potion. I've had this on me since the very first episode when me and Lizzie broke that blocks and we got a bunch of potions out of it. I had that. I planned to troll her using it at some point. Don't know if that's ever going to be able to happen at this point because I don't really know when everyone's going to be on, if Lizzie's coming back on, if what exactly I'm doing with the series from here. So I've kind of got a couple of different ideas. All right, we've got three strength pots. That's perfect. Let's make a speed one as well. We'll make speed two pots as well, and then we'll make more strength ones. I think strength two is going to be really handy. And dr then dragon fight. Like I know this starts pretty strong on its own, and you get strength and speed when you release it. But strength two is always necessary. It's always good. And I saw the effects of the potions when I was fighting against hollows down just kind of casually. So you've seen how much rates I've got right now. I've got freaking tons. Right, let's quickly make some speed pots. And I'd quite like to have an advanced enchanting um, thing in. Not enchant. I'd like to have an advanced potion making mod installed because the, I don't know, potions I've always found quite interesting. They're always quite fun. That or if I could make liquid potions. Because I know there is a mod for that, but I think it's glitchy. Because I tried reviewing it once and it didn't work out too well. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we've got some speed. I'll just stick that on and make it speed to it. Then I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with my inventory. I think a lot of this I can leave behind. I think... Quickly jump up here. And chest and say what needs to be in here and what doesn't. So don't need that in there. So I can shove this in there. Um, right. Things I'll need to take to the end with me. Because I need to be quite clever about this. Because I don't know what exactly I'll need. So. 
I can leave the shields and the chisel. I can leave the books. I don't think I'll need them. Leave the iron shovel. Don't need that. Melon's always necessary. I don't know what you're talking about. Melon is always necessary. I leave the outfits. We don't need that. There's the bits. The other bits. I'll keep the rare so on me because I can eat that to restore my energy. I need the torch for once the dragon egg drops. Yeah, I would have quite liked to have done this with people on the server, but like no one really went on when I planned to record this. So I'm just gonna like, go. Oh, well, I'll just you know record it on my own. And, you know, you'll it. Here we go, a spade. We'll make some more strength pots, and then that'll be us. And, what else can I ditch? I might make some golden apples, actually. Because I've got a bunch of apples. I was sure I had a bunch more apples. Where'd apples go? Oh, don't tell me they were inside my hidden chest, and they died. I'm guessing the explosion that killed everything. Probably. Oh, well. Um, I don't think... A notch apple. I don't think I really need a notch apple for this. I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I need a notch apple for doing this. I don't know why, but I'm inclined to kind of make one just for the sake of it. Just because I've got all this gold that I've got no use for right now. I mean, I'm not going to make lucky blocks this time, so I can go get more gold quite easily. But an opportunity to kill the Ender Dragon becomes one around once in a blooming, so I might as well notch it up. I guess I don't feel like I'll need it, but I'll take it just to be safe. You know, just to be safe, right? That's in there. Let's put the blaze powder in. Let's store the sugar in the cupboard because who needs to p leave sugar on them, them you know? I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, store some of the melon away. I know I like melon and stuff, but I've also got carrots and potatoes here. And they're actually better. The bow, I need, actually, I will keep that out because I'm going to use that to break the towers. I'm just not going to use it. Right, strength. I'll put strength to in. I'm just not going to use it on the actual dragon. So I'm going to swipe them down with this freaking sword. And waste his ass. I notice how I get rid of all that melon, I just go grab more. There you go, I got nine more bits. I love this axe, it's literally just a melon breaker. That's all I've got it for. Okay, so just so everyone knows, just while I'm here, before I go and actually fight the big bad ender dragon itself, um. Now, I still plan on doing bleach, there's no change there. I'm gonna be restarting the Dragon Block C series. So not, not so much restart, I'm just kind of continuing it, but I'm going to use a different... Right, to put it simply, because I've changed my name, the server doesn't recognise me as who I was. So I could move the player data over and still have all my powers and stuff. But I plan to restart as a different race. I plan to restart as Freeza's race. Anyway, so I feel like this is a good opportunity. Just by changing my name, I've now got a fresh start. So I'm going to have Freezer's race. I'm going to do it that way. I'm pretty sure I deleted most of my stuff on original account anyway by accident, so it doesn't really matter. Or did I? I can't remember. I think, I, oh yeah, we got trapped in the end. That was it. Me and Lizzie. Okay, there we go. More strength. Two pots. Okay. Let's get ourselves ready. So, we've got the Notch Chapel on alert. We've got strength and speed there. We've got the bow. We've got Cage No Kami. We've got a pickaxe. I think blocks is the only thing I need now. I can get some blocks so I don't get stranded in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I've got Ender Pearls, but it's always good to have some blocks just in case. Put an water in there as well. Put the gold in here because I don't think I'll need it now. I could put the rate cell away or I could turn it back into blocks because I can break that down if I need to eat some. Alright, get some cobble. I, I mean, honestly, the under drag can break this stuff so it's not going to be really useful, you know, fight for actually making a base and preparing against them. But I feel like it would be useful in case I get stuck in a platform in the middle of nowhere because it can occasionally happen. Although I can flash step and ender pearl if I need to, so I think I'm prepared. I think I'm ready to do this. Let's go kill the ender dragon to claim its egg as a trophy. And through the magical wizardry of teleporting, I am here. I'm gonna do slash spawn point here. I'm hoping that it set my spawn point, but the server's quite glitchy, so I don't think it actually will. It's just so if I respawn, I don't have to teleport back here because I'll just respawn there now. I hope. Soon see. There's quite a few holes around here. Right. Got a minute and a half on each of these. There's no much point in running about. I better get ender pearls on the ready. Just in case. Actually, I'll put them where the axe is because I won't need the axe. There you go. I think that's about as perfect as I'm going to get. The perfect freaking lineup of weaponry here. Calabunga! Okay, well, I spawned in that little platform over there. I've gotten. 
jumped over here. I had to put the keep inventory game rule on to true just in case I lost my inventory because I remember when going to the Nella that was a thing and quite possibly could have happened here, which probably would have. Right, let's deal with the dragon. So where's the dragon? Why are some of these flaming already? Dragon! Why are some of these already broke? Oh no, wait, they're not. They've actually got things on them. That's weird. Are they supposed to be on fire? I don't know. Oh god! Get lost, you freak! Ah, uh, you back off. Ah! Dude, I've got a dragon to deal with. I do not need this crap from you. God damn it. Right, he's behind me. You're a troll, you know that? You wait until the opportune moments. Screw it. Release! Or don't release, whatever. He took so much energy out of me. God damn it. I should have drank the, str the strength pot before taking him on. Okay. Oh, there he is. There's my opponent. Why am I not getting a thing on him? I'm not getting damage indicators in. Right, time to quickly drink these doing. Got a minute and a half of power. Time to run. Something just hurt the dragon. Don't know what it was. Dude, come down. I've got, like, all this power. He's healing on his own. Dude, I've got all this power. I can take you. I could wipe you out in just a couple of hits. Come here! Oh, I should have released my sword. What am I doing? My sword gets a power boost when I release it. Come on, I'm going to take you down, dude. Oh, no, there's an enderman after me as well. 30 seconds left. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? There he is. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Release blade. Shimmer. Occasional Kami, whatever. Get down here. It looks like I'm going to need to take those things down because he's going to keep healing too quick. Dude. Swoop down at me. I dare you. I dare you. I double freaking dare you, bruh. Come on. I reckon I can, I can take him quicker than he can heal because I do a lot of damage when I get a good sword hitting him. Come on. There he comes. Alright, I, I actually went for the... It gets you a tent side there. I should know if I didn't have enough time to charge it. Damn. Alright, at least now over this side the dragon's going to have a much harder time healing than what he was. He'll probably be back at full health now though. Oh, he's still not at full health yet. He's still not going to... Oh god, here he comes. Nope, there he is. Shimmer, cage no kami. Shimmer, bitch. I oh, got him. He didn't like that. He did not like that at all. That wasted a lot of energy. I need to recharge. And my potion effects have ran out, so probably a good idea to potion up. I've got time before he swoops round. Ah, sweet little hit there. Come on, punk. Come on, fight me. Watch my blade shimmer. Oh, freak! Out of my way. Oh, great, the freaks are after me. This one's a boss. Shimmer! Okay, that one died. I got them, ball. <laughs> nice. A few more seconds left. Don't think it's gonna run out. Oh, no! Let me throw that. Ow. Oops. That's a damn shame. Bring it. Bring it, brah. Or not. Whatever. Whatever, then. Cool, brah. You just stay over there. Here he comes. Shimmer! Oh, it does so much freaking damage. It does so much damage when I hit him. Ah. Oh, oh, he's coming. Please come down. Come on. Before I run out of energy, come down. Glad I placed that in that. I wonder if I can eat this quick enough. Second he starts coming down, I'll swipe again. There we go. Energy charge! Oh, that was sweet! Oh, I took up such a beating there. Oh, but I used all my energy. Damn it. Eat! Eat, you fool! You're pissed, are you, bro? Yeah, I thought so. Where is he? Alright, I got another good hit on him there. I think one more good hit and then I can go for the get you tense after the finish. I don't know if that'll be enough. 
Doing a lot of nose dives lately though. Where are you nose diving at? Up oh, here we go. Damn it, one more! One freaking more! Did quite a lot of damage, so I'm quite proud of that. Where is he? Did he seriously ran away? I need to find him and charge up another one before he. Oh, there he is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. It's really hard to see him like this. Swoop in. Swoop in for the kill. Come on. Come on. I want to make this a photo perfect finish. Come on. No, he's gonna. He's not gonna do it before I run out of energy. Or maybe. Yes. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I did it. Give me your beautiful XP. And your health. And the end portal. Oh God. Ah, crap. I didn't mean that. Well, that's a damn shame. Oh well, guys, no XP, no egg for me. But I guess I'll see you all next time. That was actually quite good. I actually got a good finish on him there, even if he did spawn the portal freaking on top of me. Anyway, guys, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the show, and be sure to subscribe for more daily content or whatever kind of content I do. I don't know. Sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's not. Now it is. Anyway, um, be sure to leave comments if you, well, if you've got any ideas for any other series I can do. It's I see the player you mean in your shadow. Yes, take care. Reach a higher level now. It can. Blah, blah, blah. Now it doesn't matter. Anyway, I see I'm going to restart the Dragon Box C series. I actually have a Pixel Monsters series coming up because I've gotten a server with a bunch of YouTubers. Continuing this. Got a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, guys, just be sure to get involved anywhere you can. Be sure to leave comments on your thoughts, anything like that. And I'll see you all next time for more whatever I do. Anyway, guys, good. Anyway, guys, see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.